All right, good evening. My name is Jamaria Mason Price. I am currently a junior senior here at Claflin University on the Hilltop High in Orangeburg, South Carolina. And today I have five special guests here with me. And these five, and these five special guests are very important to me because we are all from the same community, Greater St. Mark, and we all go to the same church, which I had the honor to watch them grow up. And boy, they have grown up fast. I remember when they were just toddlers and now they're grown almost my height. My height. So before we get directly into this, I'm going to do some icebreakers. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let me know, y'all yeah. ready? Okay, yeah, let's get yeah. started. Now this is something simple to break the ice, so relax. I'm not gonna ask you any hard questions. It's gonna be good. It's just a quick game of would you rather. A quick game of would you rather. So number one, would you rather carry a flip phone or only use a desktop computer? A desktop computer. Mm hmm. Which one? The desktop computer. The desktop computer. So y'all too good for flip phones? A desktop computer. The phone. A desktop computer. The phone. Desktop. Flip phone. So one flip phone, the rest desktop computers. <laughs> okay. The next one. Would you rather never play video games again or never use your favorite mobile app again? Video games. Video games. Never play video games again. <laughs> she said that quick. Never play video, video games. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand. Next one. Would you rather spend a day without your phone or a day without or a day with no people at all? So a day with no phone or a day without people? Without people. A day without people. Oh. A day without, without my people, phone. A day without your phone. Day without no phone. I want to say, come on now. Who's antisocial? Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Would you rather have no air conditioning or no heating? No heating. No, no heating. heating. <laughs> no heating. So you got to have air. No heating. Just air. All right. Okay. Okay. Here's a, here's a good one. Because y'all all are in school, and I know this is challenging. Would you rather go to school for four days a week for 10 hours or five days a week for eight hours? Five days a week. Four days. Five days a week. Four days. Four days. I mean, when you think about it, if you go four days for 10 hours, that's not bad because you still got to do an extra day if you go for five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be allergic to chocolate or allergic to bread? Bread. Chocolate. Bread. Chocolate. 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 Okay, next one. Would you rather have super strength or super hearing? Super strength. Super strength. Hearing. Hearing. Super hearing. Super hearing, okay. Okay, let's see what's next. Super. Would you rather be the richest person in the world, but you hate your job, or have an average wage and love what you do? Average wager, love what I do. Mm -hmm. average, average wage, wage and love what you do. 
I am so glad y'all are smart because an average job and you love it, that makes you rich right there. Because eventually the you're gonna you're gonna get promotions and that's when more money come in. Be rich. Thank you. But so we are officially about to get started with this interview. Before we get started, I have with me five special guests. And like I said before, just in case you were not on, all of these five special guests that I have with me, we are all from Greater St. Mark AME Church, the St. Mark community. We are a part of the greater things that happens in Hemaway, South Carolina, which I can proudly say I live there, love everything about Hemaway. Hemaway is my home. So starting with one of the ladies, it doesn't matter who go first, can you please tell the audience your name and what grade you're in? I'm Delacia. I'm in 10th grade. I'm Markayla. I'm in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the guys. I'm Quintrez, and I'm in the tenth grade. Mm -hmm. I'm Evan, and I'm in the eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And I have Kira. I'm not sure if we can hear her. She's on the phone. She had a little technical difficulties getting on, but Jakira. Kira is on the line too, so when she do get a chance to speak, we'll make sure she gets she's spoken for. Okay, so as everyone know, COVID hit, right? Well, we thought was supposed to be what, a one week vacation, a two week vacation started in March around the time where it was spring break, all that good stuff was supposed to happen. It ended up cutting the semester short, right? We thought this was the best time of our lives because I can tell you guys from my experience, that was the week of uh, spring break for me. Me and my friends decided last second we were going to go to the beach. As soon as we got there, we got the email saying we out for uh, a couple of days. Then we got another one saying we out for the week. So we over here, oh, okay, extended spring break. And then when, it's distinct, when the extended part came, oh, you out for the semester, come get your stuff. And it's like, oh, <laughs> it's done. We done. Like, what happened? I didn't want to come home for this long. I just wanted a little, a little break from you all, but I want to come back. So how did you all feel when you realized you couldn't go back on campus? You couldn't um, finish the school semester at school? Anyone, who else, want, whoever wants to start first? I thought it was going to be good, but then it started getting boring after a while. I was excited, then I couldn't talk to any of my friends. Mm -hmm. Um, Like she said, I thought it was good at first, but being at home every day and stuck in the house, it wasn't okay. <laughs> It was exciting at first, but then got a little boring. So we all feel the same way. It was, it was good. We all was like, yeah, we need this break. Then after a while, oh no, ma'am, it's time to come on back. It's time to come back to the schoolhouse. So is any one of you going to school in person, like personally going to school? How is this going? So nobody, everybody's virtual? Everybody's virtual. Okay, so as you can see in my background, I'm currently at school, but um, everything definitely changed. We went from having meltdowns in the summertime, daytime parties, people on the yard to nothing. Nobody can't do room to room visitation. Nobody can't be in the building if you don't live here. You can only associate, associate have conversations with different sex or even your friends that's not in the same building with you outside. So it's difficult, it's a change. Do y'all think COVID will eventually be over? Or do you wish it would be over? I wish it would be over soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'll be over soon. Mm -hmm. 
So this makes y'all have an appreciation for school more, huh? I wish it would be over, but it's gonna take some time. Yeah, of course. In a way, COVID is going to be like- I wish it could be over soon as well. Mm -hmm. In a way, COVID is going to be like the flu. You know how it's like flu season, you have to get ready, flu shot, so you won't get the flu. It's going to be that specific season to where, oh, it's the flu. Make sure you get your shot so you won't get the flu. With that in mind, I want to start talking about faith. So faith over fear does not mean that you do not feel afraid. Because we are going through trying times. The fact that we have social media makes it feel that every social platform you are on, there's mis misfortunate events being reported. COVID cases steady rising. We have political issues, racism. Like every time you feel like you turn on your TV or go on your phone, there's something wrong. However, even in the midst of being afraid, we must remember to keep the faith. And that in the book of Isaiah 41, chapter 10, verse says, Fear thou not. For I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. My first official question, now that we have sat here and talked a little bit about school, how you feel about school, do you feel like you have faith? I can take your time. It's, there's no right or wrong answer. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So when you think of the word faith, what does it automatically think of? What does it automatically make you think about? How do you feel? It makes me think of hope. Makes you think of hope. Anybody else? It makes me think of when mm -hmm. I think of faith, it actually makes me think that I can do this, like I can do something. Mm -hmm. Um, I couldn't agree with EJ. It makes um, it made me feel yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So has your faith been tested during COVID now that you're virtual learning virtually online at school at home with your family every day? Has your faith been tested? Yeah. Yes. 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 Does it feel overwhelming at times to be home, to be in your family's face? And you feel like work is always piling up, that teachers don't necessarily understand your stress. Do y'all feel any of those emotions? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways or some things that you do when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel like your faith has been tested? Like what's what what do you do to keep your mental headspace at peace? Because for me, I can tell you, me. I can read a book. I might associate myself outside because I'm a resident assistant, so I have to work. But when I'm not working, I'm either in my room, reading a book, writing. Writing plays a big part in my life. It helps me escape. It just helps me cope when I feel like, okay, these teachers are bothering me. Let me put this on the back burner. Let me watch some TV. Let me just do something. So what are some ways, some, some things that you do to just wind down, relax? Um, I go on my phone, read some books, and watch Netflix. Mm hmm Okay. Netflix is good. I watch TV, and I listen to music. Okay. Think um, I watch TV. Okay. Think of good thoughts, happy thoughts. Good thought, like positive aspirations, positivity. Like, for me, I have Bible quotes come to my phone during a certain time of the day. And it feel like it always comes on time. Like, like you have to say it may not come when it wanted, but it be there right on time. 
that's exactly how I feel, especially when you've been very much overwhelmed. And to my Facebook audience that's watching, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to ask as we continue into this discussion. Okay, I have a question for you guys, another question. If you can define faith in one word based off you and you alone, what is this one word? And if you feel like explaining it, you can, but if you don't, that's still fine. I understand. Mm -hmm. I gave you a lot to think about, huh? Well, I'll go first to help you guys. Why y'all thinking? When I think of faith, I think of patience because I don't necessarily all the time have patience. I feel like things that I may be going through, things that are happening when I'm overwhelmed, I feel like it needs to be over with. It needs to stop. I just need to go ahead and get to the climax so we can get to the resolution so we get to the happy times. But with patience, I feel like it's telling me to slow down, relax. Everything is on God's timing. It's not necessarily your timing. If you listen to the sermon this morning with Reverend Blow, when she when she spoke about the voice of power, sometimes you just have to sit there, be quiet, and genuinely listen and let God speak to you. And when he speaks to you, it just gives you that faith, restores your faith, and gives you that courage and strength to keep going. So does, does, does that help y'all a little bit coming with y'all one word? Okay, who wants to go first? When I think of faith, I think of determination. Mm -hmm. Determination, that's good. I think of believing. Believing. I think of joy. Joy. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I think of trust. Trust? Trust. So with patience, joy, trust, and if I'm missing anybody else, I'm sorry. Do you use that? Do you apply that when you're doing virtual school, virtual learning? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of virtual school, do you think virtual school is it challenging? Like, how is this environment from being in the teacher's face every single day to now being at home in front of a screen from what? What y'all do? Eight o'clock to five o'clock? I mean, eight to three thirty, seven to three thirty. With a little break in between, like, how, how is that? Because I, I haven't been in high school. Little a little bit, so I can't tell you. Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. It it could be um stressful at times. Mm -hmm. Stressful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do y'all get the chance to talk, communicate, hang out with, anyway, with your friends? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Everybody else. To me, it's uh. uh to me, it's very, very challenging because mm -hmm. you sitting in front of the screen for a long period of a day. Mm -hmm. You have to call your teacher for everything you need help, especially when you're doing a project. You have to call them and you have to talk with them over the phone and while they're telling you how to do that. It's just really challenging. Mm -hmm. That is why patience is very true. I told you, if you didn't learn it then, back then, you're definitely learning it now doing online schooling. Because granted, even though I'm on campus and there are some teachers, professors, or whoever I need to speak 
to here, we're not allowed to go face to face. So I will still have to email and call. And it is challenging, but at the same time, even though we have a specific problem, we also have to remember that teachers and professors face is being tested too, because they have all these kids that they have to juggle. They have these different classes. They have to remember who this student is, what's their particular problem. And I'm pretty sure they're overwhelmed just like the rest of us. So I think our main issues when it comes to schooling is that teachers don't consider students and students don't consider teachers. So would y'all agree with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So has your work, work ethic, do you feel like that's improving? Do you feel like you're in school to learn or are you just getting by? Be honest, be honest, because I can tell y'all the truth. I feel like I'm just getting by. I think I'm getting by. Mm -hmm. Getting by. Mm-hmm. Getting by. Getting by. Uh, I say be honest because I, I know it's hard. You sitting here in front of the computer screen, you're not paying attention, you're probably on your phone texting. Netflix probably interest interesting right quick, good. TikTok videos might be fun. Oh, I know. I I really do know what it's like being like that. So do you think school will permanently be different even once COVID gets situated, even if COVID does somewhat go away? Do you feel like we will still never get the chance to be fully face-to-face, -face, do what all we used to when we were at school? I Yes, I do think school will be different. Mm -hmm. How so, if you mind explaining? Uh, even though COVID is gone, there may still be some more social distancing mm -hmm. and you still probably have to wear a mask and bring your own lunch and everything. It's just basically after this, nothing might not change. Yeah. Social distancing. Are you practicing social distancing? I know going out, other people aren't, but are you all trying your best to social distance when you have to go out to the store, you gotta go anywhere in person, do you wear your mask, sanitize, life solve, or breathe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna do a quick shift from school. We're gonna talk about church. Do we miss church? Because I miss church. We miss physically going to church. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. I bet y'all miss second and fourth Sundays when we used to sing on the choir, huh? Definitely. 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 Back when we used to praise dance, we didn't have big events anymore. Family and Friends Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, church in general. It's different hearing it, seeing it virtually online. It's different. It might give you that same feeling, but it's nothing like seeing everyone every day because you all, believe it or not, have looked completely different for the last time I remember y'all. EJ voice deeper. He taller and lost him a little weight. Trez voice getting deeper. I think he out here driving. Mark Kayla over here getting taller. Like you guys have changed, believe it or not. You have changed. Are you still keeping church within you though, even though you can't go to the church, is church still in you? Are you still reading your Bible? If if you don't, are you still taking time to look at particular scriptures? Or when the pastor is preaching on Sundays, listening to the word, grasping the word, hearing the word? Yeah. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. 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 And we all still have hope. We are all still hopeful that COVID will go away, that we can be with family, friends, our church community, our pastor, the whole congregation. We all still have this hope. Yeah. And this all stems from what again? 
what was the overall lesson? Faith. Faith. So by keeping the faith and having the faith, like Reverend Blow said, God can speak heal a healing word. You just have to be patient. You have to have the patience and you have to keep the faith. Well, I'm about to wrap it up with you guys. I'm going to say this last little piece before we leave. So in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, first verse, it states, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the, heaven, the evidence of things not seen, meaning that even though I have fears when it comes to this virus, my faith is stronger than my fears alone. So take me, for example, like I tell you all, I'm on campus. I'm a resident assistant. I'm constantly, whether I want to or not, have to tend to a resident if they have a problem. And sometimes that means I have to go in their face, of course, with a mask and a live song, because if anybody knows my mama, they know she don't play that. I have to do the my duties in order to get paid. And with that means that I'm on campus, we get tested like bi-weekly every two weeks. And if cases in Orangeburg are steady rising sometimes um, earlier than that. But luckily, even though I hate getting the COVID test and I hate getting my nose swabbed because it hurt, I have been negative every time. I'm still around. I have two weeks left to school. I'm still here to tell you guys that because I kept my faith, my courage, my patience, my joy, my peace of mind, that I can still sit here with and be able to talk to you all today about keeping the faith, having the faith, and making sure you stay faithful and pray up during times like this. Because this is a serious matter, a serious issue. Do not let anyone, the media, or whomever tell you guys that COVID isn't real or it isn't dangerous, because it is. One second, you're fine. And then the next second, you may have COVID. So please continue to practice social distancing, staying at home, being safe. Um, please tell your family you love them. I always say you love them, friends. Reach out to people that you may not have heard from because everyone may not have the good situations like we do. Like we go home, be with our family. We could be at peace. Other people might not have to. Other people might have to work, go out every day, be in front of people. Like, just, like I said, I have to. But that doesn't mean that they don't have to face. They just got to have to work a little bit harder than what we have to. So anytime you may think that you're overwhelmed, stressed, school is too much, your people may be getting on your nerves, remember that other people might not be fortunate as us. But keep the faith and everything will be fine because the Lord will speak a healing word on all of us when he's ready. Agreed. 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 Okay. Is there anything else you all want to say? Anything that your hearts desire? Anything you'd like to get off your chest? We good? I just want to thank you all again for coming up here and taking some time with me. For me to interview you guys, I think it was, I thought it was important to interview students, not necessarily in college, but in middle school, high school, because, you know, sometimes people think y'all have it easy and I will y'all age once, even though I ain't that much older than y'all remember that. I know it's hard. So I thought getting y'all side of the story, letting people know that it's not fun being at home when you used to be in this place, that place that it could get, open up new perspectives in other people's eyes. So remember, keep the faith, keep the faith. Also, I have some thank you tokens for you all that my mother has to get to you all because I'm still on campus for two more weeks. I'll get off to the 20th. Please let me know whenever y'all receive them. Again, thank you so much. I love you all. Continue to stay safe, keep the faith. To my Facebook Live audience, thank you so much for participating with me. I see it. Hey, Miss Ernestine. Hey, Miss Scott. Hey, Reverend Ford, my mom, Whitney, Shay, Shayna. Thank you all for coming up here to see us. And remember, everyone, this is Greater St. Mark AME Church Youth.
and that great things come from the little low country town of Hemaway, South Carolina. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good one. Thank you so much for joining.